Go forth, my beethren. Get us this quick patch so we can make this wild caught tuna a Mediterranean pasta. Today, I will be reviewing Bumblebee Seafood's quick catch ready to eat tuna plus pasta bowl Mediterranean pasta wild caught tuna. So, it is a small tuna can thing with pasta. Over here, we got the nutrition. 210 calories, 10% for total fat, 5% for saturated fat, 5% for cholesterol, 18% for sodium, so it is salty. Not too bad though for these things. Uh, everything else looks okay though. 7% for carbs, 21% for fiber, so it's got a decent amount of fiber in here. And then 14 grams of protein. It's 25%, so that's actually a good chunk of protein here. So, let's see, where is it? Okay, on the side here we have the instructions, which are, I should really get a better camera that can focus on these things. Oh, it's to heat optional. Do I wanna heat it? Yeah, we'll heat it. Remove box and lid. Place in microwave, cover with paper towel. Microwave on high for 30 seconds. Oh, that's super easy. You have to refrigerate after opening, but I don't think that will be something that we won't finish in one setting. All right, what does it look like? Well, the light glares. Um, what does it look like? I guess it's got, okay, so it's got some like green beans. Uh, are those chickpeas? That's probably where all the fiber is coming from. Little carrot chunks, it looks like. And then the tuna, which is this like brownish thing, I think. And then on the bottom is where all of the pasta is. So it seems like it's not super well mixed right now. I guess I shall open her up and then I've got to cover her with a paper towel. Come on. You can definitely smell it. it smells, uh, I know I've smelled this smell before. You know what it smells like? It smells like canned, like, vegetable soup. There's probably some preservative or something in there that is, is very similar. It smells like canned soup to me. Although the canned vegetable soup, honestly, actually kind of looks kind of like this before you actually make it. Yeah, I assume it has some sort of preservative or something. Anyway, I'm gonna go cook this for 30 seconds. All right, so I have returned. Let's get a good look here. So this is what it actually looks like, which is pretty much the same, I think. Uh, compared to the old box here, uh, the box that's getting glared, uh, similar-ish. The box maybe uh, over-highlights how much of the pasta it's got. Anyway, Smells about the same. Let us take a bite. I think there's some tomato in here. I think that might be what the smell is. The canned tomato. It has a very vegetable soupy taste. How do I describe it? it it's all covered in this sort of light sauce. It's all right. The, the tuna is fine, as is the um, pasta. What is this sauce? I should really learn the names of these food things. So, I think the taste is kind of like uh, this tomato. It's sort of this tomato-y taste. Maybe slightly sour? Yeah, it's got a hint of something sour in there. And then it's, of course, got all the other vegetables and stuff. I think it actually is a good variety mix. You get a decent amount of, like, everything in every bite. Pretty all right overall. Oh, heck, I just realized it comes with a, a spoon. A little plastic spoon here that I could have used. Interesting. So it is, you didn't have to heat it up, so that's actually really uh, convenient. Yeah, it's got sort of like the, I'm going to call it, I don't know how great a descriptor this is, but it's got a heavy taste of the like canned food, a tomato, 
sauce taste that sort of permeates everything and that's sort of the primary taste driver i mean it's okay but it's not great I, I will say though for the size that this is it's a little bit more filling than i would have thought overall i think it's just kind of okay in terms of taste it isn't really doing it for me texture and whatnot is a mix of all the all the stuff so it's so i think it's pretty good there's a lot of water in here so it's not dry but it's not really soupy either uh, it's kind of like the canned soups that you're supposed to add water to and cook and whatnot. That's really basically what this reminds me of very heavily. Overall, I think it's just okay. For the convenience factor, I'm going to bump it up. I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. For how convenient it is, and that as well, you don't actually have to microwave it at all, it's all right. For taste and whatnot, it's kind of like, eh... Eh, it's it's not really doing for it for me. It really kind of tastes like a preservative. I assume it's preservatives. I don't know. And it tastes like canned soup. Yeah, that's that's what I'm going with. It just tastes like canned soup, kind of. I'm uh, not not a huge fan, but it it's a uh, it's all right, I guess. So six out of ten for uh bumblebees quick catch Mediterranean pasta. It's okay. Thank you for watching. See ya. Welcome to the outro, my dudes. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. In this outro, I'd like to show you guys something I just figured out. And that is, why is my most popular video my most popular video? So my most popular video is the Kraft Mac and Cheese Dinner Original Big Bowl Review. It gets a lot of views more than everything else. You can see here, it's still actively getting views, which is kind of crazy. If we click on it here, you can see that it's growing significantly, or not really significantly, but it's steadily getting more views. It's not a dead video by any means. Why is that? This is why I think. If you Google Craft Big Bowl, it shows up here. These little thingies down here are actually kind of cool. I pulled it up here and I didn't add those, so those were probably AI generated. That's pretty good. Maybe someone manually added those. I don't know how that works, but that's pretty great. This is kind of cool. Definitely drives views and, and watch time a little bit. Yeah, you can see I got a decent number of watch hours. Didn't get really get much subscribers though. Like 14 is something, but for the number of views, that's like one subscriber almost every 500 views, which isn't great, I think. Um, something else to keep in mind is the watch time from subscribers. Look at this. Almost everyone who watches this video is not subscribed. Now, that's actually probably why when I look at my overall audience thing here, it's so heavily not subscribed. I bet that everybody watching all of these top videos are, are un is unsubscribed. I bet there's like maybe only a handful of subscribed viewers that are watching most of these these top videos since they're a lot of them are are quite old and it's probably just people actually searching and stumbling across them anyway that's it for for this video not sure what i actually learned here because i'm not sure how to replicate that or if i really would want to replicate that or but yeah kind of neat kind of excited too to have have this little thing here but yeah thank you for watching see ya